Is that really? Really? There's a radio right outside from the quest target? Of course there's a radio right outside from the quest target, and it's the one that we couldn't find everywhere. We looked across the entire map for this radio and could not find it because it was one room away from where we got the quest and where we had to turn in the quest. Oh, this game. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. We're here at Grandpa Joe's Quality Spirits. Uh, we've been here before. I think we're looking for radios and fences. What's up, Yoshi? Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, you know what? We're looking for somewhere to cook the books. That's what we're doing. You're doing okay, Levi. You finally make it to a stream and you're doing just okay. I hope you can do a little better than okay. Okay, let's translate this. We got a booze-soaked handkerchief. Nice. Didn't we cook the books last stream? No, I think it was the last thing that we need to do. Here, we'll look at our to-dos. Uh, side quest, help the people cook the books for Dawn T. We did the other two. Uh, we forged documents and we did something else. And now we need to cook the books. And I'm just looking for a place to cook. That was a really satisfying sound effect. So, yeah, uh, we got nowhere to cook so far. We've just been going around everywhere trying to see if there was a cooking station, so. Uh, oh hey, that's your pat self over there. Here's your chance to hand over that crate of old bandages. It occurs to you that you haven't gotten the crate of bandages from Charles yet. The crate you have now is the one that future you gave you, and he said he used those. Wouldn't giving yourself these bandages screw up the timeline? I'll do it anyways. Hey, it's it here, take these. Huh? These what? In case uh, it's a case of antique bandages, they'll come in handy. But I can't use them, I'll have to keep them, so I can foist them off onto another me to close the loop. You're just sticking me with a pointless errand I'll have to do later. Oh jeez, were you really such a whiner back then? So much that you'd refuse medical supplies from your own self? Good grief, how embarrassing. <sighs> No dummy, you use these ones, then ask Charles Wallace for the crate of old bandages that Murray left in the storeroom. That's where I got these. Or, uh, well, that's where you would have gotten them if you'd have gotten around to it. But since this is the same crate either way, it shouldn't matter as long as you say the same thing that your future self said, right? But, didn't you get them from yourself, like I'm doing now? Oh, for crying out loud, were you not even paying attention? This is mortifying. If you ever run into future you again, you're gonna have to apologize to him. No, I used those. Lying to yourself probably doesn't really count as lying, even if it's a different yourself. Look, just take them. Jeez, you got a lot to learn about causality. Okay, fine, jeez. Yeah, how you doing, Yoshi? Um, Levi, is everything okay? Uh, I know you mentioned on, um, on Discord you're having some trouble drawing, and I know that you love to do it. So, ah, uh, Yoshi's still sick. Alright, let's fight some spiders. Uh... We need to get more of those uh, symbols. We need the these things, whatever the fetish things are. So we'll we'll fight them three times or however many we can. So, also, uh, I found a new playlist on Stream Beats Chip Tune. I didn't realize they had a Chip Tune playlist. So I've been staying up till four a.m. every night, and you're very tired. You know what? Sometimes, if you go to bed and then you wake up feeling refreshed, you can be more productive. And I don't know if that's the same with art. Maybe there's a place to cook. Um, we'll distract them. I don't want to have to go fight. Um, maybe not here, but maybe if we go to the junkyard. Because we didn't go there yet. Uh, okay, extract the oil. Maybe we could use that cooktop that was here, stuck in the thing. Did we ever get enough str- Oh, a radio. You tune it to WC so WGCR and hold Rufus's gadget up to it. The thing clicks a few times and the little, little needle goes up to four. I mean, we've got to have enough strength now. Oh, we must have pulled it out and sent it to the hobo place. But we went to the hobo place and we couldn't cook anywhere. Maybe the dam has a kitchen. We'll solve the maze. I don't know what it is, but we'll solve it and move on. Who go fishing in the hole in the dam? I don't think that's a good idea. Also, seeing as how there's no water coming out of the hole, I don't think there's water in there. That is, that's not how a dam works. It's definitely not. Not it. Radioactive fish, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. Um, oh, can I have this? Smell the flower. Oh, I was hoping to get like a nice smelling perk or something. Meat hidden in pipe. Maintenance access. Well, I really doubt there's going to be a kitchen in the past. I mean, how convoluted can it get? If it's not here, I'm not fishing there. Lunch? Huh? 
Huh? No. Okay. It's not. It's not it. Okay, so... I was gonna say, if it's not anywhere in this area, I will just look it up again, because... It doesn't really help anybody to just wander around forever, so here we go. Cook the books. Dawn, tea, quest, shadows over loathing. Shadows over loathing, spoilery discussions, mob book quest. Um, an anvil at the chop shop, we got things. What do you need? Doctoring done. Um... What? That doesn't... The hobo doc won't do it, but the first aid attendant at the boardwalk will. That... Oh, I already cooked the books. Oh, I already cooked the books, and I don't know how to do the other ones. Well, how do you cook the books? Doctoring the evidence. I was able to cook the books and forge the records easy. Just with a stove. It says just with a stove, but I don't know where a stove is. It's got to be an ocean city, right? There's got to just be a stove around here somewhere. Um, is there one in the bar? Because we got a stove. Ugh, no, I don't want to drink. I want a stove. Oh, well, this goes... Have we done this radio already? Yeah, we did. Uh, I need a stove. I need a stove. Where is the last time we saw a stove? Dirge's house didn't have one. Maybe Miss Brewster's does, but she won't let us go in where we need to, right? Like, this is... Oh, this is her room, and she doesn't have a kitchen. Maybe we can go to the SIT campus and use the stove in one of the frat houses? They've got to have a stove, right? Okay, well, I guess we'll fight. Blammo! Get stenched. Oh, there's a radio here, too. Nice. We made our mom proud. Oh, I didn't, didn't. All right. Uh, okay, next time on a knob. No thanks. Door stuck with pudding. This is the basement. We've been down here already. Boy, the music is so, it's so loud in here. Okay, maybe this one. Fight the shapes. Yay, more shapes to fight. Get stenched. Okay, um, get spooked. One spooky damage. It's no good. 19 XP, nice. Oh, this is the one we gotta go to the backyard, because this is like the plant vegan things. He's barbecuing. Can't take his barbecue. What does this one do? Sprig's boon, plus one muscle. Did we lose Calliope's boon though? Because we had Calliope's boon. Uh, perks? Right? No? Effects? Uh, Sprig's Boon. Yeah, I guess it removed Calliope's Boon. I guess it didn't give us an option. Which is strange, because it almost always uh, gives an option. You know what? We're just going to walk through the steam. I don't think it's going to be here. Right? There was that thing upstairs that we never solved. The television doesn't seem interesting. Okay. Yeah, we never, we never ended up solving the stuff up there. Maybe... The maybe fission ships. Now there's also a kitchen downstairs. Um No, nah, that's not that's not it. That's this is the oh, that wrong buttons. All the wrong buttons. Okay, maybe there's a stove downstairs or in the chemical wing. Um we're gonna bewitch them. I'm just skipping the events because we've done most of them. Is there a stove in here? That's a, a, a... We got a container of absinthe from Rufus. Okay, a dewar. What's a dewar? A container for fluids. What kind of fluids? Usually values to build scientific substances. Not that one, though. This is absinthe. Okay. Um, I got an arcane hot plate. Cook from the comfort of your room! Now we can just go back to our room and cook. Oh my goodness. Why was that so hard? Convenient in the name of science. We're gonna cook on the we're gonna cook the books. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. That was a uh, long ways around for all of that. So okay, now we can do all the stuff here though. Um I wanna go drop off I wanna go drop off this absinthe. I forgot to see what it does. Oh 
That secret passage is so convenient. So I found this case of absinthe. Ah, this will attract some dour artsy types. I love it. What does it do? One mysticality and one moxie. That's even better than tequila. At least for us. Um, we don't need... We definitely don't need any extra XP, so... Boom. Absinthe and cola with a dash of bitters. That actually sounds kind of gross, but... Oh, well. Actually, don't drink a lot of... Uh, I don't drink a lot of absinthe. So, interesting. Um, now we gotta go speak to... I don't drop the books into the sewer grate in front of the antique store. Right. We drop everything. Alright. Uh, call Don T. We're gonna call him back. You dial the number. Hey, Benny here. Hey, Benny, it's ASDF. Oh, hey, nice work. Stuff looks great. The pickup boys left your payment behind. In the sewer? Ah, uh, yep. Ah, oh, geez, the thesaurus just walked in. I gotta make myself scarce. I got stuff to do today. He hangs up. Swell. Almost got run up. 500 meat. That's pretty good. It wasn't in a briefcase, though. Okay. Telephonic greetings. Don Tolderone is the personage speak speakinating to you currently. Hi, Don. How's the throat? Much improved. And furthermore, I appreciate the convalescatory inqu inquiry, ASDF. You hear the sound of a cough drop being unwrapped. <laughs> Perchance, are you familiar with the stead of home formerly populationed by a set of relations known as the Papu Sasku? Yep, I know the place. Old Hoko site, right? A factual assessmentation. Abandonized, presumably because the crew ascertained the presence of vampires living in the mine tunnel tunnelology to their detrimentification, either fatally or worse. You hear another cough drop being unwrapped. Uh, right. I cleared the vampires out of that place. Oh. Already? Truly, if the remainder of our operatives were as efficacious as you are, we would rule the eastern seaboard. Your payment has been delivered to the usual furnitureal locale. Thanks. I hope it's in a briefcase. I want another briefcase full of meat. That's right. Did it say the final briefcase full of meat? What's this last call gonna be? You check the message. Call Don T. Don Tolderon, loquationating. Oh boy, hi Don, it's me. Ah, excellentement. I have one final assignment for you. Final? After this, your perspicacity and qualifications within our organization will have been proven to the ultimatious degree. If you succeed here, you will be herewith promoted to the rank of Kappa Regime and no longer subject to my various requestations. Wow, okay then, what's the assignment? To assassinify the leader of Ocean City's vampiric coterie. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Gosh. At this moment, Baron Ulrich Temus is visiting his favorite leisure establishment, which is location-wise on the boardwalk of our very own Ocean City. Our information is gathering experts have determined that the password is Masquerade. Deal with him via any methodology suitable to your preferences, provided that the creature is thoroughly destroyificated and you acquire his golden fang as evidence. Okay, then what? Once your mission has reached a successful conclusion, we will be in touch directly. May you, you be blessed with fortuitous happenstance, ASDF. Good luck to you too, Don. Okay, we'll go to the boardwalk. Now we know the password to get into that weird door. Get some frosty flakes on the way, why not? This guy, right? A uh, grouchy looking guy standing under the shade of this tiny building's eaves. Masquerade. Oh, here we go. Oh. How is this under the boardwalk? That doesn't make any sense. The trunk contains various items lost by various vampires. We got a skull cane, great. We got vampire pants, great. We've gotten pants that do range damage and melee damage, but we have not gotten pants that do range damage or uh, magic damage, which is a bummer, because that's that's what we do around here. So okay, vampire sits at a table alone, sullenly counting grains of salt. Sounds like he got a timeout. Uh, this gassy vampire is tooting in and out of all the pipes. These ladies are dancing halfway between the floor and the ceiling. Oh, good thing I'm wearing my boots. I probably just look like I blend in. We got an old engagement ring, sell it, which is the second old engagement ring we have. We got an old wedding ring, sell it, and we got a cheese grater ring. Parmesan missile deals two additional damage, which would be great if it wasn't a single target thing. The window is closed, locked, and glued shut, painted shut, and also has a sign on it that says do not open. Okay. They're having a conversation too terrifying to interrupt. The bartender gives you a chilly look. They're floating on their chairs. They're hovering above their chairs in a spooky way. This elaborately collared vampire sips languidly from his glass, projecting an air of smug nobility. The door says fiends, that's me. I got hobo code. Whatever you do, don't order the special. It's pretty ominous. Uh, we're gonna 
Consider this. How does the sink make you feel? It makes my blood boil. We got hot blooded. Nice. What if we do it again? Oh, we just fish. All right, guess we're hot blooded. I like this drawing right here with the little nose coming up over the <laughs> over the thing. So this toilet is pristine. It looks like it has never been used. There's a gun down there. Maybe if you equipped a fishing pole, you could snag it. Oh, I didn't know you could equip a fishing pole. Do we have one? Uh, fish in it. Wow, that if you skip the dialogue, you would not have been able to get this one. Toilet pistol. Let's go. That's about as close as the spittoon weapon we've ever had. All right, and we'll equip our uh, our strainer again because the strainer is just so good. It's so good. Um, where is our strainer? Oh, a sieve. That's right. Um, we've done everything we can in there. Let's talk to the bartender. Do you, I'll have. Uh, how did you get in? You are no vampire. Uh oh, no, I am. I'm just new. My fangs haven't grown in yet. See, they're coming in. They're they're a little pointier than the rest of my teeth. No big deal. Hmm. Well, since you got past auto, I suppose that's good enough for me. I won't have the special. <laughs> the bartender squints at you. Okay. Do you serve wine? He makes a disgusted noise and rolls his eyes. Sorry, just joking around. I know we drink blood here. I require information. Yes, I'm looking for Baron Timuska. We have matters to discuss. The Baron is a very important man and should not be pestered by a neophyte, but it does not like I could stop you. He is sitting right over there. He is the one with the vintage collar. Thank you. I kind of want to order the special. Ah. Uh, do I order the special? The hobo code said don't order the special. Uh, but he said, ah, uh, well, you know what? Let's close this rift. A disgusting mirror. Hideous mirror. A despicable mirror. Uh, what do we do in the mirrors? Terrible. Disgusting. Revolting. Oh, we're screeching. Seven years of bad luck. Are we going to break all the mirrors? Why not? I'm telling you, sometimes this game is so loud. I put a compressor on my desktop audio when I'm recording so that I don't have to deal with the game like peaking the system. 77 years, 84 years, 91 years of bad luck. Let's go. Close it with the pliers. I don't know what all these portals do. I've just been closing them, but maybe we don't have to. Uh, Baron Oric Temuska, I presume? Well, aren't you the presumptuous one? Indeed, I am Baron Temuska. And you are? I am ASDF Gaming. He shrugs indifferently. It's a pleasure to meet me. What is your business? Hmm, there are too many vampires in here to just attack him. This is going to take a subtle touch. Uh, excuse me for a moment. I guess I'll have to order the special. I'll have the special. He nods and mixes you a cocktail that appears to be made equal parts blood and nothing. Oh. Okay. Imagine one of those fun cocktails with dry ice in it, except instead of rum, it's made of blood. And instead of carbon dioxide fog bubbling out of it, it's black nothingness. It'll definitely get you wrecked, though. Maybe not in the sense that you were hoping. Um, so I have to more creatively get rid of the vampires. I can open the window. You get a firm grip on the window, take a deep breath, <laughs> grit your teeth, and heave the thing right off there. The sash tears free of its various locks and adhesives and slams upward, allowing the room to fill with brilliant white sunlight. Let's ignore the fact that it's been gloomy and overcast all week. All of the vampires inside the bar, Baron Oryx and Muska included, scream and burst into flames, quickly disintegrating into little piles of gray ash. Well, I'm glad I ordered the special. Um, let me check where... Oh, we can't check on the other ones. So I guess we're gonna go... Wow, that is some, that is some sunlight coming in right there. Boom. And we'll just pick up his little tooth. Uh, Baron Orctomuska's golden fang. Cool. Can we take his bottle of wine? All right. We leave the bar via... It's important at this moment that you leave this bar via the stairway. Okay, if you say so. Something's gonna happen. We spoiled it already. You hear someone clapping. 
and turn to see a man in an expensive suit leaning against a nearby lamppost, flanked by two burly goons. Even if you didn't recognize him from your bedroom three days ago, you'd know him as soon as he opened his mouth. A marvelous outcome, ASDF. Truly marvelous. You accomplished you accomplished the task at hand with finesse and aplomb in equal measurement. Hi, Don. You hand Don Toblerone the Baron's gold fang, and he examines it briefly before tucking it away in his jacket pocket. He snaps his fingers, and the two goons pat their pockets, becoming more and more flustered until one of them finds what he's looking for, and hands it to Don Toblerone with a relieved sigh. Don looks at them askance, then rolls his eyes and hands you the object, a black velvet ring box, which proves to contain a gold signet ring. The crest on it appears to be the silhouette of a penguin. Oh, a solid gold signet ring with a silhouette of a penguin engraved on it. What's this? This is my newly promotionated comrade. It is the seal of our boss. This ring identifies you as a uh, capo regime within the organization uh, with the privileges therein to which you are hereby entitled. Wow, like what? The details of your specific role, salary, and etc. are still to be determined. You will be contactificated in a week or so with further information. In the meantime, howsoever, wearing this ring will guarantee you the aid of one of our operatives when you find yourself embroiled in an altercation, whether melee or gunwise. You shake hands amiably. Welcome to the family, ASDF Gaming. It will be an honor and a privilege both to be working with you in the future. Oh gosh, I don't know what to say. Thanks, Don. Don Toblerone and the two goons sing a spirited verse of For He's a Jolly Good Fellow and then tip their hats and saunter away. Aw oh, shucks. What are our stats looking like these days? Can we do the next one? No, we can't. Okay, what, what ring do we have on currently? We have the meat ring. Oh, it's only three to five extra meat after combat. I'd rather have an ally in combat. Okay, we don't need more meat from hat photography, so let's see what we're up to. Well, it's nice to have uh, finished all the quests for the mob, because we were doing that last episode. So, nice to have that wrapped up. Rufus wants you to find radios, we've done five. Floyd at Fission Chips wants you to find barbecue sauce, which we haven't done. And the Mole Ross place, we still don't know what to do for that. So, I suppose we were going through... Crystal Dream Lake, looking for radios. We got through most of these ones, so let's go do the rest of them real quick. Um, oh, one mysticality on pants, that's nice. Hey there, I got you a souvenir from SIT. If you yourself tossed you a pair of pants. I've already been to SIT, I could have just bought these myself. Yeah, you did, except you were me, and now I'm giving them to you. Don't forget to go back and buy a pair. To give to myself? Can't I just give him these ones? Yeah, but then you won't have them, so you'll want to buy a new pair for yourself. Which ones are these? What did you do? Um, if I tell you, you won't be able to make the choice anymore. This is nonsense. Yeah, it's, it's pretty messed up. How did we, I, get into this situation? I've been wondering that since the last time I had this conversation, and I still have no idea. Well, alright, see you later. Here's a radio. There we go. You restore the radio the way you found it, making mom proud. That's what it is. Okay, I'm not going to step through because radios won't have existed in the past. We'll go to the cave. There might be a radio in here. This is part of a really big quest. No, there's not going to be a radio in here. This is a mushroom cave. But Sandwich might have one. This is just all rock related stuff here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Anything in the backyard? No, just the cemetery. Can't go in there. Can't go in the restrooms. And there's nothing in there. Okay. We can go to the hardware store. Brush teeth. A swamp Chomp now deals five additional damage. Nice. Good for you. Storage. Nope, no radios. Okay, the pet store, the crystal store, and then we're done. We got a sharpening stone. Nice. Hi, Greta, what are you selling? Uh, we took all her pets already. We unlocked a new cat. She likes you. Her name's Dottie, by the way. Um, pet her now. We got Dottie's boom plus one Moxie. Okay, we have 12 Moxie. We can convince anyone to do anything right now. Go to the crystal store. Sure. Well, buy the soda. Why not? It's only five meat. How's that mine? Break off anything expensive? Oh, we needed something to do the termites at the mine. We haven't even- that's not even on our side quest. Totally forgot about that. Um, but the guy at the store wouldn't sell us any termite stuff, so... Not- not Kevin guy. Welcome. 
I I will just believe that you are not Kevin Guy. It's uh, Shadows Over Loathing, sequel to West of Loathing. And it's a pretty ridiculous RPG adventure story based kind of game. So uh, we need to go back in the past, which means we need to move the outhouse back over here. You know what? I'm not going to even bother with this one. We'll figure it out in the future. Right now, we're looking for radios. So you start to get that deja vu feeling again and look around to see yourself coming up the road. This would be as good as time as any to give them that pair of pants from SIT. Hey there, I got you a souvenir from SIT. I've already been to SIT. Okay, we just did this conversation, but from the other way. Um, oh, we don't even have the option to say anything different. We have to say the one that the other guy said. Interesting. It's kind of a weird determinism style. Have we read that? Oh, we could have cooked there too. Is there a radio up here? There is not. All right. Okay, so we're done with this area. SIT campus had some radios in weird places. So maybe the library? No. Maybe the admissions department? No. Maybe the gift shop? Theoretical topology lab number two. Paradox lab. Laundry room? No, it's locked. Barbecue wing. Phys ed, I doubt, has a radio. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be any in the classrooms. Maybe in the courtyard? What's your sport called? Uh, I guess we'll fight them. Their stats doubled? How did their stats double? Sports shorts. Nice. Got some, got some powerful shorts. Oh, it's just literally the courtyard outside the front. Okay. Ovid's shop might have one. We have to fight or we're going to get debuffs. In fact, it would behoove us to lose a fight. Because then we'll get buffed up to, what, four losses? And I think we have one loss from today after we woke up. But I don't really remember. Alright. The fights aren't that hard, so... Um, there's this guy. Grants a spell damage perk. Have we already read that one? I think we already did. It's only 90 meat though, so. Adds one max AP. Portable radio. We have one. We have one. Uh, we don't have the hat. We don't have that. We have one of those. We have seven of these, so. Yeah. Actually, not Kevin Guy, you, you've come for the last stream that I'm doing on Twitch before I'm taking a little bit of a break for Christmas and the holidays and then coming back next year with YouTube. I'm going to be streaming over there. So, Okay, we just got two books. Let's read them. We already read it. And we already read it. So, Oh, gotcha. Nice. Okay, we don't need anything from down here. I doubt there's going to be a radio in the chemical or wings. Um, you know what? Let's do the flame thing, and then let's uh, let's start doing some cook damage to these guys. And then we'll buff our our team stats. We can have a team of five right now. Actually, that's that seems pretty good. Okay, cool. Hilbert House. This was when we started going up. And then... Are there radios in here? Okay, we started going up and then the fights got too hard for us. So let's keep going up. I think we got to floor six. But we'll try going in here maybe. Oh, radio! Whoa, what are the odds? You overcome the fears and listen to the whispers. Oh, it's not a real radio. It's like, what are the odds we just happen to stop on floor five and go into the one room that has an actual radio in there? Come on, game. Um, oh, this that's a, a, a radio. Yeah, it goes up to seven. Because we don't, there's probably not just ten in the game. Oh, here's the fight. Okay. How are we doing on uh, damage? Looks like probably summon the cheese golem. Increase, deal 7 stench damage, increase my mysticality, set people on fire, sure we'll do some stench damage, why not? 
Um, let's increase all of my uh, all of my teammates stats and then we'll strain them. Wow, this should be a pretty easy fight. He did so much damage that he was about to do so much damage. Holy moly. Okay, I think that was it in these rooms, right? Yeah. Okay, so that was floor six. So we'll on floor four and down, we'll check the rooms for radios. Another one. Oh, we've already used it in the Hilbert house. Come on now. Okay, I don't need to reach in with stench armor for that. And there's probably there was a fight in there. How many rooms are there going to be, though? Um, investigate unidentified chemicals. Nice. And an old wallet, which we will just keep around. A robot fight, which is good for us because I think stench damage will do... Like, they won't have any resistance to our um, spooky damage or anything. But I don't know. I don't know. A ray gun. I'm bleeding by 11. Oh, man. Is that it? That's it for this room? These fights are getting pretty hard. The drawers are just drawn on 11 muscle. Yeah, I mean, they're already... Um, we got a glob of wet hair. Another glob of wet hair, I might add. Goblins look pretty weak. Yeah, they're pretty weak. Minus one to all stats. Wow, that mob guy with the uh, thing is pretty good. Let's just climb the floors and see how high it goes. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There, it might just go on forever. I mean, they already had an endless hallway. We'll go up to twenty. Wow. I don't think I can fight anything in 20. 24 muscle? Holy moly. Oh, too bad we don't have enough to, to read the books. Okay, let's let's just leave this. Um, we've already checked these. Rufus's lab might have a radio, but I imagine we already got it if it does. Mm, no. He does not have a radio. Okay, so we're done with SIT. So let's go to the big moist. Look for radios around here. The Dauphin House probably has it. We got a cheese ringling. Your summoned em mental elementals will be more powerful. Uh, you find an arm of a traveling salesman sticking out of the ground. Given the condition of the arm, it seems like the body attached to it must have been down there for quite some time. The ring slips easily off the arm's finger because the finger is both wet and withered with decay. One or the other would have sufficed. That's gross. We will give the arm a proper burial. Every time you try to dig, the hole immediately fills up with water. You just decide to use the shovel to press the arm down below the surface and call it a day. It's a day. Oh, I, I heard. Yeah, the big moist. I know. Okay, so we got a radio from here. No need to stick around anymore. Um, there's a big shiny treasure chest on that tussock over there. Oh no, as you approach the chest, a bunch of Gittermen jump out of the mud surrounding you. It was an ambush all along. Uh, throw your haunch of meat at them. Sure. That works for me. No radio here. There's just an egg in the house, right? Yeah. The treehouse, I doubt, has a radio, but maybe... We'll fight. I'm just gonna spam spacebar until everybody's done. That might not be the fastest way to do the fight, but it's the easiest way, that's for sure. Is there a radio up here? There is not a radio up here. Good, because having a kid lug a radio all the way up. The monster thing? Um, join them. I don't know what it was. They might have a radio in here. No. No. Okay. Well, I mean, he is on a radio. Any chance you can get WGCR on that radio? Can't seem to get any station right now. We can just keep asking him. Okay, well, it's fine. We will move on to the mob submarine. There's not going to be a radio on the sub. We looked at everything in that sub. So we got a shadow pickle. Nice. Barbara Yagara might have a radio or just an arcane stove. 
Okay. The Radio Shack better have a radio. These guys should just die in one hit. Yeah. Oh, this is WCGR. Okay, well... Alright, it's not gonna be there. Moss Rock Grotto I don't think has a radio. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight. Okay. We'll summon our Elemental Elemental. We will increase everything. I'm gonna increase my Mysticality. Um, where is it? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this one so that I can do hot damage to the pole twice. Then we have so many abilities. We'll strain everybody because the pole buffs everybody's stats on their team and lowers all the stats on my team. So also, I definitely should have buffed my team's stats instead of doing whatever it is I decided to do. So we'll do that this turn, although I might have. Yeah, we have so much AP. It just doesn't even matter. All right, I don't think there's a radio here, just this sparkling rock, sorry, this twinkling rock. The quarries might have a radio because they have those little houses outside. Oh, we can mine this now, pure rock candy, worth a small fortune to the right buyer. Okay, well, we didn't have a pickaxe before. Fight him again. Blammo. Um, I'm gonna have this guy do the shadow damage. Oh, I shouldn't have had him do the shadow damage. That, I think that works out though. Yeah, totally works out. Can I open the safe in front of him? Hey, leave my safe alone. Painting, leave my painting alone. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not helpful. Mess hall. Another stove that maybe we could have used to cook. Here we go. Yeah, that's nine. Okay, so one more. We're calming that guy down. Calming him right down. Uh, what happened? You see a plume of smoke coming from behind a nearby clump of trees and brush, and as you draw near, the sound of ragged crackling and giggling can be heard. Oh, could it be a coven of real swamp witches? Sadly, no, but what you do find is something even weirder. A gang of scraggly-looking swamp hillbilly vampires tending to a ratty old still. Oh, hi, you fellas cooking up a batch of corn? Nope. Rats. Ew. Of course, now that you're here, a whole nother recipe comes to mind. I'm pretty sure you can't actually make booze out of blood. It wouldn't ferment. Why not? Blood sugar's a real thing. Yes, but I'd have to be diabetic. I'd sweat pancake syrup. Look. I'd have to be so diabetic I'd sweat pancake syrup. Look, maybe I can set you up with some more appropriate ingredients. A few quick mathematical calculations later and you've opened a portal to the fruits and vegetables dimension and retrieved a bushel of custom bright red ears of corn. There you go. Blood corn. I made it by crossbreeding regular sweet corn with blood oranges. Well heck, I reckon that solves our problem nicely. Thanks, feller. Don't mention it. No, really. Don't mention it. Okay. I don't think the boxcar is gonna have one. We'll check anyways. Yeah, no, uh, maybe, did we ever check that bookshelf? Yeah, okay. Slant Rhymes, we did, I remember. Um, not dealing with, uh, Mudhenge again. Let's check the Flemberg place. Okay. Blap. 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 Strain. We have so much AP. Please be a radio. Please be a radio. Come on. Ah, no radio. Okay. Moonshiner's Rack? Nope. Oh, it's one of these fights again. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Let me do this for myself, and then... We'll summon that guy. I should have waited until after I summon that guy to buff the stats. And then we'll strain. And then we won't get our stats debuffed. So, although Alphonse is going to die, apparently. Sorry, Alphonse. This music is so good. It's so classy. No radio here, just where we use the moonshine for the gasoline. Now, I think there's still two Gatormen outside. Nah. Oh, in their place, there might be a radio playing um, lullabies for the Gatormen in this middle one, right? Oh, no. The Rolling Stone gathers them. Do we have uh, muscle? Plus one muscle. 
and plus, well, I filter for muscle, right? So, okay. Increases muscle, 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 plus one muscle. Wait, our thing already gave us muscle. Oh, you know what? Actually, we need to put on, where's that helmet that gives plus one to each stat? It is... No, 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 no. It was, um... Does the judge's wig do it? I know the giant maggot does it. We'll clip that, and then we will use our new creepy fetish to attach to the giant maggot. Yes, a giant maggot fetish. That's exactly what I wanted. How did you know? Um... Okay. Capo ring, vampire boots, the sash, the pom-pom. So let's, I guess we need to filter for maybe food. Um, the, oh, we already have 11. Okay. We couldn't go in. Now we need 12 muscle to move the rock back. Where is it? Thank you, past ASDF. Thank you for confirming that. I'll tell you, man. You know what? We're gonna just sneak past. Oh, this takes forever. We're just gonna fight them. We already fought all the guys inside. So, might as well fight the guys outside. Ambush. That was a weird sound that I've never heard before in this game. Okay, uh, everyone gets on fire, summon the cheese guy, buff everybody's stats, and then just blast them with hot damage until we run out of AP and then strain. Oh, that guy gets plus three to all stats whenever he's injured? Sounded like a spider in Minecraft? Yeah, he kinda did. Oh, Gatorman skin pants, excellent. Okay, um, let's get rid of these pants and put on... Oh, that's pretty good. I think the 20 meat drops is better though, right? Oh, adds 25 meat drops to a pair of pants. Yeah, 20 to meat drops or 20 to meat drops and a moxie. So, all right, I'll take that, that's nice. Okay, is there, there's another anvil. So I'm, I'm just hoping for a radio. Oh, we can go back down here? I wanna fight that golem, cause it like teleported us out before. Yeah, and then I saw in the achievement list, there there is an achievement for um, fighting the golem, and I was like, man, I wanted to do all the ones that needed stat checks, so uh, it, it just seems like if you have the stats for it, why not do a stat check? But then I was bummed that I didn't get to fight the golem, it was like a unique foe. So avoid the beams, D here it was, destroy the guardian thing. Oh, um, this seems like it's going to be an easy fight, so... Well, it seems like the guy in the middle is going to be a hard fight. So we'll buff my stats, we'll summon this guy, we'll buff his stats, we'll set everybody on fire, we'll increase my mysticality, um, and then we'll... Double the damage? No, we'll just do hot damage. And then we'll strain everybody. Pow! Yeah, 95 HP is a pretty decent chunk of HP. No, I did not get an achievement for that. So... Uh, we can fish in the puddle of the Gatorman Queen after being stomped on by that giant guy. Great. Oh, here it is. Um, messing with this thing did not end well for the Gatorman Chief. Doesn't look like it's going to end particularly well for you either. Really? You've already got the key. You don't need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a thing whose toes are as big as your head. Okay, I'm going to do that whole fourth wall thing everybody loves. This is a super hard, optional boss fight. Not at all balanced. We didn't even bother to test whether it's possible to win. It is, and I'll show you. Um, excuse me? He just got plus one to all stats twice. Uh, it... Get, he intends to power up, increasing all his stats by 3, then stomp the ground, reducing your entire party's stats by 13. And he has 1100 and 11 health. What? Okay. 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 Wait a minute. Um, we're going to increase my mysticality, because we're going to need it. We're going to summon the cheese guy. We're going to set him on fire, because it's just him. We're going to buff everybody's stats. 
And then... Uh... Let's save my AP because I might need it later. And then we'll strain him. Does he get plus one to all stats all the time? Okay, one of Rufus's robots. Why is one of Rufus's robots here with us? And why is Alphonse gone? What what just happened? Okay, causing 23 bleeding. He's immune to bleeding, of course. And poison and on fire. Okay, great. Uh-huh. Um, he's getting so much to all his stats. We need Alphonse here. Because Alphonse can lower his stats. But that's probably why they won't let Alphonse in this match. So, okay, he's going to reduce stats again. Which, there's just nothing we can do about it. We're just going to be hitting for one damage. And Rufus's robot doesn't help us at all. So, I think this is just going to take a long time. He's going to blast us off for 29 damage. Okay, we'll come back here later then. Um, it would have been a lot easier if we had Alphonse. So, maybe we'll just dust ourselves off and then immediately try again to see if Alphonse comes here for some reason. I don't know why he's not here with us, and I don't know where that robot from Rufus came from. That doesn't make any sense to me. We gain a Loof. Okay. Oh, you know what? Alphonse isn't in here with us, right? Yeah, okay. So I guess maybe Alphonse just can't be part of this fight. I don't know where that robot came from, but... Fine by me. I had to know. I had to know. We're already here. Can I just map out of here? I can map out of here. Okay. We didn't look at the moon. Oh, we did look at the Moonshiners um, shack. We didn't look at the wrecked river boat. There might be a radio on here. Maybe. And if not, we're going to have to go to the next zone. And there's probably a radio all over the place over there. You know what? There's not going to be a radio here. So let's go to Gray County. And there's got to be a radio somewhere. Boom. Needle goes up to 10. Back to SIT campus we go. Into Rufus's lab. Mm, we'll reason with them. Gain more XP that we don't need. Alright, Rufus. Um, what should I do with this? Fishman eggs? He scrambles them. Great. Remind me what to do with this gizmo? You've already plugged into the transmitter, right? So all you have to do is find 11 different radios out in the world and use this receiver to check the transmission. It was 11 the whole time. Why was it 11? Well, we just did that one. Uh, I guess we'll go to the Gilmore house. Maybe there's a radio. Maybe there's a radio down in his basement thing. Bunker. Bunker, that's the word. Not why would there be. Also, where did he go? Okay, Gilmore house- Morros house isn't gonna have one. The Puckwudgie village isn't gonna have one. Maybe the Drexel place has one? Another one of these fights. Okay, you know what? Um... Summon, buff, fire. What does more? Hot stench damage does more. I thought this was an attack that did stench damage to everybody, but it wasn't, and now I'm just disappointed. So, also, how did he hit me for so much damage? It didn't mark it as me taking that much damage, but I somehow took about double. Also, I am just, like, bowling through the mobs, guys. Like, they are just falling left and right. These poor mob guys. Oh. What was I thinking of? The Moros house? That's the one with the stuff in it. But maybe there's a radio that we can access. Maybe. Maybe. Huh? Huh? No. There's definitely not. So... Uh, maybe McMillican Cuddy has a radio? Shadow Elixir. Yum. Just reminiscing about old side quests. There's an anvil out of McMillan Cuddy's, Millican Cuddy's place. I did not mean to go into a fight with ducks. I am in so much of a hurry that now everything's taking longer. Do you hate it when that happens? Like you're already running late and you get in a hurry and then you just start forgetting stuff because you're in a hurry. You get all stressed out. Happens to me anyways. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Boom. Decomposing pate, nice. Hard duck leg. Nice. And an iron rich pate. pate. There's a shadow orb back here. How do we get back there? 
Can we get back behind all this, all these buildings by going around them? You guys see that shadow orb back there, right? Like, there's got to be a way to get back there if there's a shadow orb back there. Huh. Well, I guess, I guess not. There's not a radio at the whole hole. Um. There's probably not a radio here either. The Ford compound might have one. Uh, no, I don't want to buy a brownie hat. I want to see if there's a radio in here. Maybe the bunkhouse has one? No. Maybe the Ford manufacturing place has one? No. Definitely not, actually. What's this pile of beans doing? Can we do something? No, we can't. Okay. I thought maybe now that we had the whistle, we could do something with the beans, but I guess not. Okay, maybe the old ham mill has one, but I don't think so. And maybe the black gold mine has one. We'll see. Uh, Ask... No, ask not. Ask not. Why? It's not necessary to ask for whom the windmill spins because it's clearly spinning for no one. So why bother telling me not to ask? Ask why not you were told not to ask. How many do I have left? Just one. I'm just missing one. Okay, there's nothing there. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to skip it. Dang. I'll have to find a sink to wash up at or something. No, there's none here either. Bummer. Uh to beat. If I surrender this fight, do I get a good effect or a bad effect? Yeah, good effect. Okay, so we'll surrender one more fight next time it comes up. Well, do we have to look up where all the radios are? Um, oh, we can just do the main mission? Well, alright, I guess. Um, what's our mission status, Janice? Uh, Jasper? <laughs> Janice. Eola says she's ready to deal with the guard out front. Wendelin's all set to spring the gate. Xenia is armed and dangerous. Well, only a little more dangerous than usual, I guess. Grover's got Big Betty ready to blow. Farina says the getaway card is good to go. It's looking pretty good, although there's still a little bit of prep work we could do. Anything else? Uh, go talk with the others. They'll tell you what they need. They'll probably be cagey about why, despite being you being on the team now. Don't push them on it. We take op spec, op sec, spec, op? I don't know, real serious around here, and talking about the mission in public is strictly off limits. Oh, which radio did I miss? It's probably back in Ocean City. It's probably... It's probably in the speakeasy, right? Right? There's gotta be one there that I missed. Oh, wait. Did I do that one? Yeah, I did. No, we started looking here and there wasn't anything. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, now there's the fight club. There might be one in some of those spaces. There was one. There was one at the bottom of SIT in that's the wrong wrong zone. There's one here in the bottom, when I go down... Oh, complicated textbook. Intermediate numerical mathematics. I don't think we've read that one, unless we can't read it. Oops, no, don't don't take the bus, stop that. Read this book. Uh, you look at the first few pages and the only thing you learn is you'd be better off selling this to a used bookstore than trying to comprehend any of it. You gained 404 meat, so we just gained a profit. Which is a bummer, kind of. Is the... Really? Really? There's a radio right outside from the quest target? Of course there's a radio right outside from the quest target, and it's the one that we couldn't find everywhere. We looked across the entire map for this radio and could not find it because it was one room away from where we got the quest and where we had to turn in the quest. Oh, this game. Oh, hello again. 
Here's your receiver thing. I hope I got enough clicks and bloops for you because I am definitely not going out and getting any more. Thanks, I'll give you a ring when I'm finished doing the math. All right then. We're gonna go back to Ocean City. We're gonna go into Murray's Antiques and immediately pick up the message. Hi, I'd like to order a pizza to go, no anchovies? Sorry, I must have the wrong number. Wait, Rufus? Oh, hi, SDF, can you come to my lab? I've nearly finished my quantum communication device, but I just need a couple more things. All right, I'll swing by when I can. Great, thanks, see you then. We go back to SIT campus. We go back to Rufus's lab. So, we're gonna solve the equations. Oh, we should have fought and surrendered, but that's fine. So what's this last errand? Okay, I need some way to connect an antenna and some other stuff to this Fishman Pearl. But a regular antenna won't work, I need one that's magical. I don't like saying magical, but we'll go with that for brevity's sake. I'm with you so far. What I need is an antenna, or at least a steel thing five or six feet long that I can use as an antenna, and it has to be from somewhere with a lot of local resonant magic, or a place magical creatures live, somewhere like that. Please tell me you have more to go on. Yeah, don't worry, I know you're busy, so I did some research in advance. I know exactly the place. Oh, thank goodness. In Gray County, there's this weird fellow, uh, this weird little town full of weird little elf guys called Puckwudgies. Oh, yeah, I know about those little jerks. Great, see if you can find an antenna or something antenna-like out there. And when you come back, I'll tell you the next step. Okay, at least we know exactly where to go, right? Um, we are going to fight, and then we're going to surrender to get the perk. So, surrender. Cover with scabs, nice. I think there's one more perk, actually. Who's this guy? Uh, you're such a monster from the Puckwudgie's perspective. They made a statue of you. Great. Oh, we're back at our room now. Okay. Uh, what kind of interaction are we talking about here? High-minded conversation. We got plus one mysticality. Can we do it again? Oh, we lost. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's do uh, Moxie. Because then... Um, our team buff will do more stats, so... Okay, where are we even going? Gray County, we're going to the Puckwudgie Village. Is there gonna be another statue? Uh, the farm, Rain picks up something wild, and the doors open on a nearby barn provide the only shelter. You dash inside, from the rafters hang a gang of gargoyles who drop and block the entrance. Pay up, shelter ain't free, this here's a B&B, &B, and whether that stands for bed and breakfast or black and blue, that's up to you. That doesn't make sense. Uh, this here is a black and blue? What's that supposed to mean? You probably mean this is a place where you beat me black and blue, right? Well, that's a PWYBM B M B. Oh, that made him mad. Prices just went up. Um, reject this choice with violence. How dare you threaten me when I was just trying to come in from the rain? Why do we have another Rufus robot? For some reason. And why did it select him? I don't know. Plus five- oh, plus five to range weapon attacks. I'm just waiting for the one. Just waiting for the one that does magical stuff. Okay, we did that, we did that. That's empty. That's, this isn't particularly helpful. An arson charm. Okay, poison file, another hat. A lot of meat. Uh, oh, what did it say? What did... Uh, you don't see any actual antennas, but this fire escape ladder has the basic qualities. That was so loud. Um, okay, great. We've done the thing, and we can go back to Rufus now. This is good. This is good. We're wrapping up some of the quests. That, that was loud. Yeah, fight the shapes. And we're gonna surrender for our last surrendering. Uh, oh. Okay, basic shapes. Are, sure. I hate that if you go into the fight and surrender after you have the perks, nothing bad happens. But if you refuse to fight, you get a bad perk. Like, what's the deal? I found an antenna. Well, it's a thing that's more or less like an antenna. Yeah, an actual antenna was probably too much to hope for, but this ought to do the trick pretty well, thanks. Is that all you needed? Nope, see, I can't just solder this thing out of the pearl because, well, because it's a pearl. Soldering doesn't work like that. How about glue? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but it has to be a glue with some pretty specific technical properties. Don't worry, I won't bore you with the specifications. Thanks. You know me pretty well, huh? You remind me of my brother in a couple of ways. Anyway, <laughs> the main character of the last game that I played as? Oh, couldn't be the same as your brother. Anyway, you know about the burbling ooze? The first time I went to college, I had a roommate who had to get penicillin shots for that. No, 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 I was thinking of we're a tar pit out in great country. Oh, yeah, I know the place. County. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be gross, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I need a handful of slime from the ooze of corn. It has to be a handful specifically, not, for example, a bucket. Gross. Science is gross sometimes, that's just how it is. 
Um, it's too bad I don't already have a handful of it from fighting it several times, but we'll go back to Grey County. We'll go back to the Burblingers. Uh, Shadow Beer, nice. We will... Um, oh, we will... Hot and Sleaze Armor. So we just need Sleaze Armor. Uh, Sleaze... Uh, plus one to all. It's gotta be pretty good, right? Oh, where'd, the, where'd they go? Okay, and now how much Sleaze Armor do we have? We have... One! We have all of one Sleaze Armor. Great. Mm, we can equip this, that brings us to four. And this brings us to five. I really don't want to have to eat something. This brings us to, um, that doesn't, that doesn't help. So we have five, we need, we're just gonna drink it, okay. Slowly, partially due to the slime's viscosity, he just sighs. Ugh. Uh, and partially because you don't make, partly so you don't make it angry, you wade into the middle of the ooze and you stick your hand down into it with a sound. Your skin tingles and you hear a faint sense of deja vu that you can't quite put a finger on. Is it the spittoon? That's the deja vu from the spittoon? Gross, you pull your hand out. Bearing a handful of stuff exactly like the rubber glistening black slime that collects in the bathroom sink drains from bacteria feasting on soap scum, toothpaste, spit, and decomposing hair. If you don't know the stuff I mean, consider yourself lucky. We got a handful of black ooze. Um, we will equip our things back before I forget. This is the sash for all the stats. Um, we're gonna put on the clown pants. Just because why not? Actually, I like the white pants because of the meat gains. Okay, and we will go once again back to SIT campus to Rufus's lab. I wish I could have shortcuts for Rufus's lab. Okay, we'll just one shot these guys, right? 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 No. Okay, we'll two shot them. Actually, it's probably gonna be a three shot at this point. Boom. Yeah. But hey, at least my turns are going faster now because uh, my teammates are dying. Uh, fainting. Yeah, that's that's more family friendly. Okay. Oh, hello again. I got your ooze. Here, please take it. This is really unpleasant. Sorry, but you need to keep that for the next part. Uh, this is the last thing I promise. Okay, what is it? Well, there's a strange well in Gray County, like an old-fashioned wishing well, except when you put something into it that starts with the letter H, it comes back changed. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Wait, is that why it had to be a handful because of the H? Yep. That's so dumb. I could have used the hamper? Haversack? I don't need that much. Ugh. You're also going to need some intense stench resistance to carry the stuff back here. It's going to smell really bad. How much? I don't know. About eight? Eight sounds about right. All right, I can probably swing that. Good luck. Don't get any in your mouth or eyes or anywhere, really. We're going back to Gray County. This is getting, like, really kind of annoying. Um, I'm definitely not trading a hat because my hat is amazing. A uh, small lake of oil defiles the landscape and so does the guy taking a bath in it. As you draw close, you see it's not a guy but a man-shaped oil creature stewing in his own juices. He's nude but for an oversized Stetson. Well, you assume nude. Who knows what he's wearing downstairs? Maybe more Stetsons. Nice hat, he says, raising a slick fist. Give it. Bath time's over, chump. Oh. That's weird. Guys, don't look. He's nude. And I don't see a hat anywhere. Okay, we're gonna set everybody on fire. Then we're gonna summon our golem, and we're gonna buff our golem stats. Then we're gonna use hot damage to the oil man, and everyone else that's in the area, until I don't have any AP. Easy peasy. Refined oil, oilman Stetson, and a gush stone. Gross. Just walk around real quick. We're gonna drop a handful of, oh, hand washing gasoline, a handful of black ooze. Um, you put the ooze in the bucket, then remember he warned you you need at least eight stench armor to tolerate it, or at least until you can get the stuff in your backpack. Guess you better take care of that first. You reclaim your handful of ooze to your regret. Oh, we don't have enough stench armor? Oh yeah, we still don't have stench or sleaze, which is a bummer. Because I feel like we always need stench and sleaze, so... Um, well, that gives us five by itself, and now we have eight. 
Okay, a handful of black ooze. We got a glob of burning pitch. You put the ooze in the bucket and lower it into the well. When you bring it back up, it's thicker, blacker, and burning angrily. And even with your stench armor, you can tell that it is foul. All right, back to SIT campus. I'm gonna just go back to Rufus's lab. Now that I have it, I don't need my stench resistance, right? Because I kind of want to put this, uh, this, this monster club sash back on. Oh, hello again. Here's your fire glove. You notice the Rufus has plugged his nose with what looks like cement. Excellent! Once I refine this a little, it'll make the perfect magical glue to assemble my device with. Is that all you need? Sure is! And I can't thank you enough for all your help. I don't know if this is going to work, but I definitely wouldn't have gotten this far without you. Ah, uh, don't mention it, Rufus. Good luck finding your brother. Wait, that was it? Okay, wait. Let's go back home. I know we're, we're going back home. And then let's go back to SIT campus. And see if he's gone, and maybe he left something for us. Um, advanced projectile physics, it's a deal! I bet we've read that one already. Yeah, we've learned that one already. Oh, hello again! He's still- okay, so we finished this questline. I don't know why I was expecting that questline to have a better ending. I mean, we got a really good ring from the mob questline. Didn't quite get such a good thing from Rufus's questline, but you know what? That's okay. And that does take us to the end of our stream. This is probably going to be the last stream on Twitch for a good while. I'm switching over to YouTube. Uh, this is definitely going to be the last stream of the year. I'm taking a break for Christmas coming up, and uh, yeah. So thank you guys for coming on by. Glad we can wrap up a couple of quests. And if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It's one or two clicks for you. It really helps me out a ton. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.